Hello, my name is Stephen and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to start your lessons effectively. Now, how do your lessons start? So before class, is this how it happens? Is this how your lessons start? Is it chaos like this? Do the students just run into the room with no order, noisy shouting? Do they start like this? How might your students feel at the start of a lesson? I want you to think about your students. What have they been doing? Where are they coming from? How do they feel? So, do they feel tired? Have they had a long day at school? Do they feel happy if they just done something fun? Do they feel bored? Have they had a really difficult, boring lesson before yours? Do they feel scared? Maybe they don't like English classes. Maybe they find English very difficult. Do they feel energetic? Did they just have break time? Maybe they drank too much Coca-Cola and they've been running around. Probably they're very noisy. So think about how your students feel. So they come in, they're busy talking after break time maybe. They're sharing gossip, they're talking about what's gone on and they're not thinking about what they're going to learn. And you, as a teacher, you have to spend a lot of time getting the students to settle down and to focus. And that's not good. So, why is the start of the lesson so important? So, getting the lesson off to a great start. We want to feel in control. We want to set the tone for the rest of the lesson. It's an opportunity to get the students to remember what happens at the start and the end of lessons. Students' brains work in this way. They can remember the beginning of the lesson and the end of the lesson very clearly. The middle of the lesson is a little bit more difficult for them. So, we have a little quote here from the first day of school. And it says that prime time in school is the first few moments in a class. If you blow these moments, you blow the impression, the sale, and the success of a class. So that tells me that the first few moments in class are very important, probably the most important of the whole lesson. So, what can we do to make the start of our lessons more effective? We start with the students entering the classroom. So, when they enter the classroom, you greet your students with a big, warm smile. You create an atmosphere of friendliness, of positivity, and make the students feel comfortable and relaxed. Maybe you can use a fun greeting to make the students feel motivated. That could be a wave, a high five, a handshake, or something else. I know there's many videos on YouTube of some famous teachers in the US who have special handshakes and high fives for every single student in their class. This motivates the students, makes them feel excited, makes them want to learn with you. However, you should stop any behavior that you don't want immediately. So, students are coming into the room, you greet them, and they go into the classroom. But when they go in, they start talking and being noisy. You need to stop that immediately. But you also praise good behavior. So if some students come in and they perhaps tidy up around them as they come in, they clean up their desks, they sit down very quietly, you praise them for their good behavior. Okay, now, once students are inside the classroom and you want the class to start, how do you get their attention? So, there are a number of options that we can use at the start of the lesson. For example, you may have some kind of routine. 
Now with a routine, is a routine is something that you do on a regular basis and that could be using hand signals or gestures to get their attention. You can use the noisemaker. Now noisemakers such as bells, whistles, squeaky toys or hand clapping and these are a very quick way to get the student's attention. We also have visual cues that you can use. For example, we can use a traffic light system. Red card means very noisy, stop. Yellow means okay, be quiet in five seconds. And green means good. And finally, one thing that I do is I use a countdown system. So I will count down from five, now four, three, two, one. And on one, they have to be quiet. So we need to get their attention very quickly at the start of the lesson. So start your lessons with a routine, as I discussed. Now routines could be question and answer. What day is it today? How's the weather today? How are you? Get the students to answer your questions. We can also sing a song to warm up the class, get them feeling excited and motivated about the lesson. And it's also very useful to do a warm up activity or even better, why not play a game to review the language from the last lesson. This reminds the students of what they learned previously and gets them motivated for the new lesson. So, with routines, there is a quote here that you can see. It says, routines are the backbone of daily classroom life. They facilitate teaching and learning. Routines don't just make your life easier. They save valuable lesson time. And what's most important, efficient routines make it easier for students to learn and achieve more. People think that students love chaos and they love things to be disorganized and they love to run around and be messy. And, but actually, young learners love routine. They want to have these routines to give them some organization in their, in their classroom. So using routines is a very effective way of controlling the class and getting it off to a very good start. Maybe in your classroom, you want to put up a routine for entering the classroom. There's an example here. It says, greet teacher at the door. Walk in quietly to sit down. You can take out the materials from your backpack. Hang the backpack on your chair and do any work that you didn't finish before. If you have a routine that you want to give to your students, you can put it up on the classroom wall. Okay, in summary, warmly welcome your students to create the right atmosphere when they enter the room. Set the tone for the lesson ahead. Be friendly, be positive, be welcoming, but also don't allow students to behave in ways that you don't want. Get their attention quick and efficiently. Use routines to control the students, motivate the students and make them interested in the lesson. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks very much for listening. If you like this video and you want some more, you can click subscribe right here. Okay, bye-bye.